Hello everybody! Today we are learning on the railroad. The most important thing we're gonna learn in this song is the new place for your second finger. Do you remember where we do normally put the second finger? We put it on the sticker, right? The sticker that is next to the third finger. This way. First finger on the sticker, second finger on the sticker, and third finger on the sticker. And sometimes we use the fourth that goes on the sticker as well. But here we are going to move the second finger to a new place. It's going to be, instead of the normal sticker, it's going to be next to the first finger. When we are on the A string and we put the fingers on the stickers, we will be making A sound open string, first finger on the sticker will be B sound, second finger on the sticker it will be called C sharp sound, and then the third finger will be D, and then the fourth finger will be E, right? Well. In this song, when we use the second finger next to the first finger, second finger low, it's not on the sticker, it's next to the first, it will still be called C, but it won't be C sharp, it will be called C natural. So we will be making A, open string, A sound, B sound, C natural sound, D sound, third finger on its normal sticker, and then E sound. We're gonna put our violins on the shoulder, but remember, it's on the shoulder, it's not on the chest. It's on the shoulder pointing to your side. And if you want to watch the screen while you're playing, you don't move your violin. We keep our violin on the shoulder and we move ourselves. Careful with your thumb, remember your beautiful wrist that has to be straight, nothing like that, not squeezing tomatoes, careful, wiggle your fingers, are they all awake, sure, okay, with ghost fingers we're gonna try to put the second finger on the A string but next to the first finger and then first finger on the A string second finger low, third finger on the sticker, fourth finger on the sticker. All right, just keep it there. Fantastic. Okay, hands down, keep your violin on the shoulder. Let's have a go again. One on the sticker, C natural, next to the first finger, not C sharp, remember C natural, third finger on its normal sticker, we don't put it on the second finger sticker, uh -huh. be respectful with the stickers, third finger on the sticker, fourth finger on the sticker, wow, let's take off the fourth, take off three, take off two, take off one, wiggle, fantastic. Well, let's have a look to the music sheet. We can see four boxes, right? But just two different colors. We have purple and also we have green. Who can tell me what does it mean? Exactly, the boxes that have the same color means that they are exactly the same. Rhythm, fingers and notes are exactly the same. But what else do we have? We have bubbles, right? It means that inside these boxes that have the same color, for example, the purple, the very last note of the box, it's different. Okay, next step. Who remember what this symbol means? This is a ta, well done. And who remember the real name for the task? Exactly, well done. Crotchet, good job. How long is a crotchet? How many bits? One bit, good job. And what about this other rhythm symbol? 
we call it Taha. Well done. And who remember what's the real name? Good job. Minims. And how many bits do the minims have? Two bits each. Good job. And also have a look to the very end of the first box. What is this? These are rests. Well done. These are shush. This one is a crotchet rest. It's a ta. Shush is one bit. And the other one is a ta ha rest. It's a minim rest. So it means two bits. Clap your hands ready. Everybody warm them up. Good job. And let's clap the rhythm of the first purple box together, counting properly the bits. I want to hear the tas, the tahas, or the shush. Are you ready? One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 ha. Ta, 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 ha. Ta, 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 ta. Do you think that you can do it by yourself? Let's have a go. Well, let's go for the next step and it's notation. That's the tricky part. Who can tell me who lives on the second floor, on the second space, counting always from the bottom, of the safe house? Say that louder. Exactly, Miss A, good job. If we have a look to the music sheet, if we have a look to the first purple box, do you think that the first note you have in the box is in the second space or is in a different space? Exactly, it's not in the second space, it's somewhere else. So if we have a look to the second space, can we check if the note we have to play is above or below? Above. Well done. How many steps are you making from the A space to this other note above? Two steps, exactly. We go from the second space and we count the line above and then the space above where this note is in. Fantastic. So let's go back to the musical alphabet. If we are thinking on the musical ladder and we go up the ladder from A step and we have to make two steps up, which one is the name of the note? Let's see. A, B, C. Well done. Do you remember what we said at the beginning of the video that in this song, the C is called natural. Fantastic. Good job. Let's carry on. The first note is a C. What about the second note? It's in the same space than the previous one. Exactly, it is. So it will be another C. What about the third note? That's a minim. It's in the same space than the previous one and also the previous one. Yes. So it will be a longer one, but still it will be a C natural. Let's go to the next bar, the next three notes. They are all in the same space. They are all C naturals. So if we say the notes from the beginning, it will be C, 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 C. Which finger do we use for the C natural? Second finger on the A string, next to the first finger. Okay, time to play. Remember to hold your bow beautifully, roundy shape, pinky on top, bumpy thumb. I don't want to see nothing like this. Oh goodness. Bumpy thumb. If you have a rubber band, use it. Let's get ready, Mr. One and Mr. Two. Remember, second finger low is a C natural. We're gonna play together the first bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twen
Ready, steady, off we go. C, C, C. Let's practice it again. Ready, go. C, C, C. Once more. Ready, go. Three key bar. Has. Who can tell me the name of the first note? Well done! Is an A open string. Why? Because it is in the second space. And who lives in the second space of the state house? Who lives on the second floor? Miss A. Brilliant. So the first one is A. What about the next one? C. The, the same on the bar before. And the next? Another C, because it's on the same place. What about the last one of the bar? A again. Brilliant. Let's go for the last bar of the first phrase. Are we going up or down from the A space? Down, because it's below, right? Good job. How many steps are you making down from A? One step. Fantastic. So which note goes one step before A in our musical alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. G, brilliant. Third finger on the D string. Wiggle your fingers. Are they awake? Yeah, you sure? Okay, so we have A, C, C, A. Careful with your wrist. Ready, steady, off we go. A, C, C, A. Once more, ready, go. A, T, T, A. Good job. And which one is the last note we have in the first phrase? Is it G? But it's not G, open string, grumpy G, living in the basement. It's the G third finger on the D string. It means we need to be very, very awake to tilt the bow to the D string and also move the third finger to the sticker. You have to aim to the sticker properly. So use your eyes to look at your fingers. Let's try together. A and then three on D. Are you ready? One, two, Ready, go. A, B, once more. Ready, go. A, B. Let's practice it once more, last time together. Ready, go. A, B. Stop the video here and practice this A, three on the D string. A, three on the D string. 10 times until it sounds perfectly clear. I'm very impressed with your progress. Fantastic. Let's play together the whole first line. Wiggle your fingers, get ready one and two, low on the A string, bow on the string. We play the whole phrase together. One, two, ready, go. C, 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 A, C, C, A, A, Well done. Let's do it again. Be careful with the tilt. I know it's the very last thing we need to remember, but we still have to remember it. Ready, steady, off we go. C, 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 A, Tilt. Okay, let's go for the second line, the second stave, second phrase. What's the color of the box? It's purple again. What does it mean? Exactly, it means that's the same than the first one. 
but there is something different. The first bubble is red, but the second bubble is yellow. Who can tell me what's the name of this note? C natural. I think we are ready to play the whole second line straight away. Just remember, instead of tilting to the D string with the third finger to make a G sound, the last note is just second finger again on the A string. Wiggle your fingers, remember your wrist, your beautiful bow hold round the shape. If you have a rubber band, use it and pay attention to your pinky. Mr. One, Mr. Two, C natural, bow on the string, ready, steady, off we go. C, C, C. You can stop the video here, practice the second line, careful with the last note, careful with the yellow bubble, and then you can put first and second line together. From the beginning, one, two, ready, go. Second finger down and Woohoo! That was sounding really good. I could hear you practice. Good job.